Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Network and Security Virtual Switch Comparison, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we begin in vCenter server, hosts and clusters. As you can see, I have vCenter uh, 20, or uh, 020, which in, in my terminology is uh, the, the one on IP address that ends in .20. You can see I've got uh, a data center with two clusters in, and I've got uh, an existing distributed switch, a VD switch zero, and a standard switch, V switch zero. Uh, the standard, uh, if you look at the switch in the middle here, the switch has got uplink adapters on the right hand side which connect it to the outside world and it's got port groups on the left hand side which connect it to virtual machines or VMware services. So the switch is the part in the middle connected through uplinks and port groups. So some of these are used for virtual machines and some are used for services like replication and vMotion and management. And on the distributed switch, I have a similar thing. I have two port groups with different VLANs on and different uplinks. But again, there's a switch in the middle with uplinks on the right hand side and port groups to connect to virtual machines on the left hand side. So there you go, standard switch. And standard switches are configured per host. So uh, when I created these, I had to write down the details for all these different port groups and all these settings by hand and make sure that I got them exactly right on every single one. They had to be identical, otherwise I wouldn't be able to move things between them or things wouldn't work if I moved virtual machines between them. So the uh, the names have to be identical and all this needs to be done by hand. That's for every single port group or every VM kernel adapter. By contrast, the distributed switch is configured once at the data center level and then applied to multiple hosts um, in, a, in, a, in a different manner than the standard switches. So standard switches can be edited from each host, but uh, distributed switches can't be edited on each host. They can only be edited at the data center level. So distributed switches belong to a data center. And if I right click the cluster here, you'll see I have no settings for distributed switches. If I go to data center level, you can see I can do things with distributed switches here. And if I go to the vCenter level, there's nothing here for distributed switches. So it's purely a construct of the data center. And one distributed switch belongs in a data center, but it can also belong in multiple clusters. So I've got two clusters here under the same data center that can all use the same distributed switch. And I'm going to change a setting on a virtual machine in each cluster. And as you can see, machines in cluster two can see those port groups from the distributed switch. And if I pick a machine from cluster one or the first cluster, that will also be able to pick port groups from that distributed switch defined higher up at the data center level. So if I click on the switch, we'll be able to see a little bit more information about the switch. We've got an actions menu item at the top for things like creating distributed port groups or attaching ESXi hosts and uplinks, upgrading and then modifying other settings. So if I edit the settings here, I can see the basic stuff. And the MTU, which I've set to 1700 there. But if I want more detail, I go to the configure menu and now all these other properties and topology uh, link aggregation, private VLAN, NetFlow, all of these things appear. So this is the switch in the middle, uplinks to the right, port groups on the left. Same as before, the difference is just that it's got more features and it's configured centrally rather than individually on each host. And again, just running through LACP, private VLAN, NetFlow, port mirroring, health check. These are just additional things that a distributed switch has that a standard switch doesn't. 
You can look at the ports here, don't spend too much time in there normally. Um, these are the hosts that are connected to the switch. These are the VMs that are connected to the switch and the networks it's presenting. So you can see there I've got four different VLANs, 1,100, 200, 300, 400. And back to a host showing it's got a standard switch configured locally and a distributed switch configured at the data center level. So that was Networking and Security Virtual Switch Comparison, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you for your time, and I hope you found that useful.